Hi. So in this video, I am demonstrating a therapeutic movement that I created uh, with the intention of supporting um, my goal. <laughs> I have a goal pose for this year, um, and that pose is wheel. So um, if you're watching this video, you've likely seen the picture of me um, in my beautiful wheel pose. Uh, I lovingly refer to my wheel pose as <laughs> the flat tire. Um, anyway, so this movement that I'm going to demonstrate, I, um, I, I encourage you to try it out, see how it feels for you. Um, and uh, know that it's, I mean, it, it's, I'm offering it um, as a way to share what I'm kind of playing with and exploring to help uh, wheel pose, but know that it can work for um, many other intentions as well. So um, in the picture of my wheel pose, it, uh, it really looked to me like my shoulders and the ability for me to move um, my arm bone into flexion um, with my elbow bent is something uh, where there's um, some good room for me to improve my mobility in order to support the ease and efficiency um, with which I can come into hold and move out of uh, wheel pose. So this, um, this movement that I'll show you um, is, uh, came from that, came with uh, me wanting to play with movements that will help me um, improve my shoulder range of motion. Um, but I'm also there's an added layer of complexity here and that the movement that I'm working from is side plank. So that side plank will um, help me create some stability around my spine. Um, really in a uh, like really create stability on the sides of my spine. Um, and um, with I chose this uh, because moving, working uh, the stability of my spine in this way will support my ability to move into the spinal extension um, that is required in wheel pose. So with this therapeutic movement, I'm uh, the intention is to focus on spinal stability in order to help with my spinal extension and also shoulder mobility. So here we go. As I lift up into my side bridge from my knees, I'm going to work on um, kind of sharing the load between my shoulder, my core, and my actually lower hip joint uh, so that things can be as fluid and efficient as possible. Great. So then the movement that I've chosen to play with uh, looks like this arm comes straight out from my body, palm facing down towards my feet to mimic um, how my palm, shoulder, elbow would need to be uh, placed in wheel pose. And then the arm comes up overhead into shoulder flexion. And what I watch for is right about there. If you watch the creases in my shirt, you'll see that as I move right about here into shoulder flexion, the relationship between my rib cage here and my pelvis here shifts so that I'm going to move only in the range of shoulder flexion, me lifting my arm up overhead. I'm gonna try and find the range where I'm able to just move the shoulder and nothing more. And I do this very purposefully because I know that if I move past that range where my ribs want to pop like they did just there, I'm no longer focusing on shoulder mobility. Now I move into training um, a movement of my rib cage on my pelvis, which is not one that I want to play with right now. The intention doesn't fit. I'm trying to focus on shoulder mobility. There we go. There's my side bridge with shoulder flexion. Uh, try it on, see what you think. Um, thanks for watching.